Hi, this is Troy Lewis, lead pastor of Steamboat Christian Center, and this is Vision Moments, an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you to stay resourced and connected to our vision to love God and to love people. Can't wait for you to hear today's episode. Hey, my name is Jeff Sublett, and I receive the youth and the outreach right here at beautiful Steamboat Springs, Colorado at Steamboat Christian Center. Uh, SCC Vision Moments is an inspirational video cast that provides vision, insights, and growth opportunities for you and myself to stay resourced and connected to SCC staff, their leadership, and also engaged in our vision for us to love God, love people. So, so basically my main point today is I want to talk about hard work. Come on, say it out loud, hard work work. I mean, how long have you actually worked? I'm 41 years old. Okay. So I've worked for, I don't know. I don't, I went to school in Texas, so I'm sorry. Okay. But my first job, it, when I was 15 years old, my first legit job I got at first cafeteria, it was kind of like a ghetto version of golden corral. And, and you know what I was dishwasher. I would just scrub a rub dub. And you know, you know, if you've ever been to golden corral, it's a buffet. And so people just don't care. They, and it was a terrible job, but I was so excited. Actually, my first job was at 12, but I mowed lawns for my granddad. And I got paid hourly, five bucks an hour. Don't ever, ever, ever do that, okay? But so, so I, so I worked hard. I've, I mean, I've, I've always had a job, and I've always been just a grinder. I've always been a hustler. I've always just really worked hard. So, but what does the Bible say about working hard? Philippians chapter two, verse fourteen says this: It says, "Do all things without grumbling." That means complaining <laughs> or questioning or or being okay or being or or just being a punk. Okay, do all things without grumbling and questioning that you might be blameless and innocent. See, we work hard. And if you're listening, come on, make some noise if you work hard at your job. You're like, yeah, work hard, I work hard. Honestly, I, th I think a lot of us, we work hard, you know? But have you ever worked really, really hard and never complained? Make some noise. Yeah, <laughs> Silence, yeah, because we don't, we don't. I go home, I complain to my wife, I complain to my daughter, I complain to Kyle, I complain to everybody, all right? Even when I have the greatest job in the world, it's crazy. Uh, we as Americans, we work so hard, but we complain and hate it so much. So five facts real quick about American work, work ethic. Number one is we hardly ever go on vacation, all right? Number one. And number two is we barely take any time for our family. Number three is Americans tend to eat at their desks. In 2015, they actually said that there was a, there was a survey that said that P uh, Americans, what they do is they go get their lunch and they come back and sit at their lunch or they skip it all together. Number four is Americans seldom take breaks during the day. And number five is that we send emails after work. The craziest thing, craziest thing. And I used to be like this. I used to grind and grind and grind. I'd be, it'd be 10 o'clock at home and I'm sitting there on my laptop sending emails. No, European people say that they give 100% from nine to five. Then they go home and they spend time with their family and they do everything that they like. See, uh, Kim and I had the opportunity, and Lily actually, we took her for the first time to Cancun, Mexico. I know, it was amazing. It was absolutely unbelievable. And we went there, and you know, they were so COVID safe. They were spraying the bottom of my shoes, my bags, everything. It was unbelievable. I, was, I felt so just warm and cuddly. But you wanna know something? Is that our waiter, Jose, at the Pina Colada, every single morning for breakfast, we were there for seven nights. He was there every single morning, even New Year's Eve. And New Year's Eve, he worked until 1 a.m., took the bus home. He takes the bus home every night for an hour and was back at 6 a.m. <laughs> and you don't wanna know what he had on his, on his face? Every single morning, a big smile because he wasn't grumbling. He wasn't complaining. He was happy to have a job. See, and, and, and this is what really turned my, my mind. I'm like, you know what? Jose, Jose must love God and must love people. 
because, because, because he is so happy and so grateful and just so loving no matter what. See, we as, I think, Americans, man, man, we, we're just workaholics, you know? And I feel like we just work and we go and we go and we go and we go. But when we go and we go and go, does it show in our persona, the show in our body language that we actually love God and love people? I, I know that sometimes I don't, but I tell you what, Jose did. I don't even know if Jose has a relationship with Jesus, but, I'm t but I tell you what, I guarantee that he loves people. And so we as followers of Jesus need to, in our persona and in everything we do, in our work ethic and everything, just love God and love people.